Hi, Jen. Hey. Oh, oh, you must, uh, you must be the, the new waiter. I'm, uh, I'm George. Oh, so you're the dude from Vegas who left Casey when she was little. No, I'm, I'm the other dude. <laughs> so you must be the dude who only tips twelve percent. That, that would be me. <laughs> what can I get you, George? Uh, oatmeal and orange juice. What, uh, what, what, what part are you up to? And orange <laughs> juice. Your, uh, how's your novel coming? Not good, George. See, I don't know where to go with it after the character of the elderly bookstore owner is tied to the side of a cliff <laughs> while seabirds peck away at his flesh. Ambrose, I explained to you why I couldn't give you dental. <laughs> morning, Studi. Oh, uh, morning, Lloyd. How, how are you today? Not here for small talk, Studi. I'm here in my official capacity as Edgar Town's building inspector. There are reports of a tenant living in this structure. Oh, oh, that, well, that's, that's just, uh, that's just Leo. Just Leo. Well, that's just a zoning violation, and that's just a $200 fine, and you have just 24 hours to get him out? Well, you know, he, I, he's going to be moving out soon. I mean, couldn't, you know, couldn't you make an exception? You mainlanders are all alike. <laughs> Come here to our island with your fistfuls of cash and you open your tacky little stores. <laughs> where you sell your t-shirts and your pornographic postcards. <laughs> well, I've been watching all of you, waiting for one of you to mess up. And now, one of you has. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Lloyd, you, you take your job way too seriously. Uh, Leo, could I see you for a minute? Yeah, George, what is it? You want to see me? Uh, Leo, uh, the building inspector was just here. Um, uh, you're not going to be allowed to, uh, to live here anymore. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm being evicted? Uh, yes, it's a, it's a zoning thing. Oh, nice little town. There's a Jew in the attic, and now they turn him in. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think that had anything to do with it. He was, mm -hmm. he was just uh, following orders. That didn't come out good either, did yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what am I supposed to do now, huh? Now, where am I supposed to live, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute, George. You have a nice big house, don't you? Yeah, well, see, uh, see the trouble... Uh, the trouble with, with my house is it's a... Uh, is what, George? It, it's a one-bedroom uh, one house. A one-bedroom house. <laughs> that is unusual. It's, it, it's very, very unusual. It was... Uh, <laughs> Built in 1820 by a, a, a sea captain uh, who, who was um, uh, who, who, who was paranoid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's it. He was paranoid, and he had this uh, this uh, fear of, of house house guests. You're not good on your feet, are you? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> This stuff looks great, by the way. I don't know why people aren't finishing this. Ted, that is the worst waiter I've ever seen. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess you're right. Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to go ahead and, um, and have you fire him. Me? Yeah, you. 
Okay, Ted, okay, I guess when there's a big, ugly job to be done, send in the pregnant lady, huh? Well, it's just, you know, I'm a little like my dad, you know, I have a hard time giving people bad news. Oh, that's just a fancy way of saying you can't handle conflict. Well, it's not my fault, all right? It's genetic. No studio man has ever been able to handle conflict uh, ever since the first studies came here on the King James. I thought it was the Mayflower. Yeah, well, we had tickets on the Mayflower, but we got bumped. We didn't want to cause a fuss. <laughs> And, uh, Leo, we're clear that you're just going to be here for a couple days until you find a, a place of your own. For the 50th time, George, yes. <laughs> uh, George? Yes, Leo. May I ask you a question? <clears throat> what, Leo? Would it bother you if I unbuttoned the top button of my pants? <laughs> yes. A lot. A whole lot. Hey, George. <clears throat> what, Leo? You snacky. Am I what? Snacky. And when a person is a guest in another person's house, that person usually offers that other person food. Like I did at dinner. <laughs> no, no, dinner was dinner. This is snacky time. Uh, Leo, help yourself to whatever you want in the kitchen. I'd just like to sit here and read my book. Martha Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Made in 1790 by a master craftsman, and you'd think that a person wouldn't put a person's floor shimes on it. Hey, George, that's a nice selection of bottled beer you got out there in the refrigerator. Oh, thank you. Mm. <laughs> Leo, would, would you mind using a coaster? Oh, coaster. Of course. <laughs> What's the matter now, George? We need a coaster for my ass? You just sat on my pipe. Oh, sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go, George. Smoke away. I don't care to just now. Hey, it's a beautiful day, George, you know. Leo, you know, if you're going to stretch in that robe, I wish you'd pick the uh, ocean side of the porch. Why? That's why. Hello, Mr. Johnson. Yes, yes, I've, I've talked to him about it. It is a very short robe. Yes, it is. I'm as concerned about property values as you are. I'll, I'll give him the message. Well, George, what you doing today? Oh, I thought I'd have a little talk with Lloyd, see if I, I can't beg him for a variance so you can go back to the, uh, to the bookstore. Why? That robe has a lot to do with it. All right, so what's your plan on how to handle this, uh, Lloyd? Oh, I figured I might soften him up if I brought him lunch, you know, get to know each other. George, you're dealing with a very low-paid public official. You want something from him, there's only one way to get it. You gotta give him a little... Are you talking about a bribe? Bingo! You know, I mean, that, that may be the way they do things in Las Vegas, but uh, that isn't the way we do things here on Martha's Vineyard. George, honey, the people on Martha's Vineyard are no different than the people in Las Vegas. Oh, sure, you might not dress as nice or have as much class, but you're still people, you know? It's a bribe, and it's wrong. You know what your trouble is, hmm? You live inside a box, you know, a cage, built by your own fears. Your own rules, your own judgments. You see, me, I've always lived outside a box. Well, now you're living in my box. <laughs> you know what? You handle it your way, I don't care. I'll just say no. Doesn't matter to me. I like living here. It's a great house, George. I got a nice room and a view of the ocean. I'll tell you something else. You bring a broad out on this sun deck at sunset, he did his party time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Leo, would you stop that and come back in here? Why? <laughs> That's why. That's when I was promoted to assistant building inspector. Wow, wow, that's that's interesting. Are you are you, uh, are you married, Lloyd? Yes, I am to a stern mistress, the village of Edgartown, Massachusetts. <laughs> okay. Um, you have any hobbies? What what do you you know do in your off hours? I spend a great deal of time on the internet. I'll bet you do. <laughs> Studi, why don't you tell me what this is really all about? Is it about a variance? Well, you know, if that subject came up, I thought you might uh, see your way What do you clear. take us for down here? A bunch of inbred boobs? <laughs> Excuse me, my pager. That, uh, is that your wife? <laughs> Actually, my mother, but your snide attitude is noted. George, everything okay? I'm uh, running into a little resistance. Yeah, I thought you would, so I brought you three big ones in cash. No, no, I, 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 I don't want it. This guy is screaming for cash. He wants it, he needs it, he's begging for it. Now, trust me, huh? You gotta give him a little... <laughs> You know, you're like an evil Jiminy Crick. I'm gonna leave it right here under a sack. No, no, don't, don't leave, don't, no, don't leave it there. Leo, leave. What are you doing? Oh, uh, the, you know, the, the taco salad looked so good, I, 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 I was, I was snacky. What is that? No, uh, nothing. Let me see it. $300 in here. Is this for me, Mr. Studi? Do you, uh, do you want it to be for you? <laughs> do you want me to want it to be for me? <laughs> Help me understand. You're giving me $300 in exchange for the variance? Well, um... <laughs> Thank you, George. Thank you, Lloyd. Thank you for once again proving that all you mainlanders are scum. Excuse me? I'm a public official. I serve the people. I have never accepted a bribe in my life, and I'm not about to start doing it right now. <laughs> uh, look, I, I, I got some bad advice, and uh, this is terribly embarrassing. Uh, <clears throat> uh, why, why don't we uh, just pretend that, you know, this, this never happened? Oh, we're not going to do that. <laughs> what, uh, what... What are we going to do? <laughs> how, how long do I have to stay in this hellhole? Well, it's been eight and a half minutes, George. It's really just a formality till we get an authorization code on your credit card. Look, I, I just want to get out of this cage. It's, it's filthy, it's inhuman, it's, it's dirty. Well, I guess we should clean it up. As soon as school starts, it goes back to being the bookmobile. <laughs> I thought I recognized it. I've, I, I've given a lot, a lot of talks in here. Hey, home at last. You know, George, back in the mafia, when a guy came home from the big house, they usually threw him a party, you know. Big cake and band and a couple of broads. <laughs> well, the evening is still young. And, uh, I don't have an arraignment till 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, George, George. No, no, come on. I know you're very upset. So, why don't you take a little while, calm down, and uh, I'll get you brandy. You know, I, I made it through life without even a, a traffic ticket. And, and thanks to you, I've had my mug shot taken, and, and I've been fingerprinted. You know, upon reflection, George, uh, I must say, at this point, 
I do not believe that gentleman was looking for a bribe. <laughs> you know, I'd strangle you, but the, the cops have my prints. No, no, come on, come on, come on, George. I know, I know, you've been through a big trauma. Why don't you look at it this way, huh? For the first time ever, you experienced life, huh? Did something bold, something daring, huh? You finally broke out of that prison of your mind? I liked that prison. <laughs> at least they didn't take away your shoelaces. Oh, George, they put you on suicide watch? I was... I was yelling some stuff. <laughs> Okay, see Ian's out there all by himself. Let's go do this. No, Ted, I think you should do it. What are you talking about, by myself? Uh, think of it as a dry run for fatherhood. I want you to be able to deliver bad news. Sounds like a test. Mm, that's because it is. Ian! Hey, uh, I've got to talk to you for a real quick sec. Could you sit down right there for me, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, this is, uh, very, very hard for me, uh, because I, I like you mm. so much. You are a great, 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 great guy. Uh, but, um, wow, this is hard. Uh, um, uh, Ian, I need to tell you, uh, that... I'm fired? Yes! Yes! Thank you! Yes! Oh, yes, yeah, you're, um... Mm, what you said. Don't worry about it, man. Yeah? I'll be okay, yeah, I come from money. Right. <laughs> hey, huh? I did it! I fired you! I actually fired you. Oh, how was I? Frankly, I've had better. <laughs> You know, uh, Casey didn't even think that I'd have the nerve to do this. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm bad with confrontation. Well, let me get my stuff. All right. Oh, hey, one sec, Ian. Uh, when you go in there, could you do me a, a small favor? Uh, could you pretend that you're all shook up? Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like I came down really hard on you? It'd, I mean, it'd make me look so good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Not a problem. Appreciate it. <laughs> Here, but you can't treat people like this. Now, Ian, sit here. Calm down. Calm down. Let me get you a glass of water, okay? We're gonna give you another chance tomorrow. <laughs> that one bit you in the ass, didn't it? <laughs> Your Honor, uh, uh, yesterday I did a very, a very stupid uh, thing. Uh, I, all, all my life I've been a, a law-abiding citizen, but in, in, a, in a moment of weakness, I, I took uh, some bad advice and made a, made a bad choice. And I'm embarrassed and ashamed, and um, I wish to offer a humble apology to, to you and to, and to, to Lloyd. Is that all you have to say, Mr. Studi? Uh, also, I was under the influence of a, a very powerful um, an antihistamine. <laughs> Lloyd, do you have anything to say? Yes, sir. No matter what excuses he offers, he still tried to bribe me, and that is still a crime. Now, Lloyd, did you at any point signal your willingness to accept the bribe? because that would be entrapment, and that is also a crime. <laughs> Only to draw him out like the mainland rat he is. <laughs> Lloyd, this is the kind of thing that'll hit the papers. It's going to be an ugly scandal. Yeah, we, we don't want to, you know, drag the, the, the wife through that. <laughs> Why don't we all just agree that what happened yesterday was a simple misunderstanding? Case dismissed.
Oh, uh, your supreme majesty, uh, there still is one, uh, there still is one outstanding issue which uh, perhaps we can solve together. What's that? Well, <laughs> this whole comedy of errors began when my befuddled elderly friend was asking Lloyd here for a uh, zoning variance uh, so that I could continue to rent the space above his bookstore. And I refuse to grant it, Your Honor. We can't go mixing commercial and rental properties. <laughs> Now, but wait a minute. <laughs> a thought occurs. Now, the building is not zoned for rental property. However, the law has nothing to say about the family staying with family. Oh, that is curious. <laughs> Please go on. Well, so long as no rent is charged, uh, Mr. Wagaman can stay at the bookstore in perpetuity. Per 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 <clears throat> per per perpetuity. It means forever, George. I know what it means. Yeah. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> Don't go away. Yes, Tuesday. You slipped him a kiss, didn't you? You, 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 you gave him a, a, a taste of the, of the sweet side. George, don't embarrass yourself by trying to use the lingo, okay? I, I, I was tricked in, into trying to, to bribe a, a building inspector, but, I mean, you, you bribed a judge on purpose. I mean, that, that is really breaking the law. Whose law, George? America's law. I mean, 200 years of, of democracy and freedom and justice. Well, whatever, it needed a goose. You know that? <laughs> you know, that's the difference between you and me. You, you think inside the box, you see? I always think outside the box. You ought to try it sometimes, George. It's called living. You know, you know you're right. The, the, the hell with the rules. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking outside the box. And, and as long as you stay at the bookstore, I'm going to charge you $400 a month rent, and I don't care what anyone says. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, George. They made it very clear, George. I, 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 I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm outside the box. <laughs> You know, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm very proud of you. Remember, we agreed on $300. I'm going to make it $450 a month. You know, for the first time in my life, I'm feeling alive. <laughs> Wait until you see the season premiere of Murphy Brown. Murphy's out. You were fired. I wasn't fired. Joan London's in. You really think people would prefer her over me? Joan! But the real shocker... It's you! ...is in the last scene. Oh, my 